To begin the Amplicon quantification process, thaw the Pico Green standard and reagent at room temperature protected from light. Turn on the fluorometer and allow it to warm up for 10 minutes before proceeding. Per the manual, using eight 1.7 milliliter tubes, prepare a serial dilution of standard for four Amplicon plates. Note that volumes may be adjusted for any number of plates to be quantitated. Pipe at 980 microliters of 1XTE into tube 1 and 500 microliters into tubes 2 through 8. Vortex and quick spin the serial dilution of standard and pipe at 20 microliters into tube 1. Close the cap, vortex, and quick spin. Remove 500 microliters of diluted standard from tube 1 and add it to tube 2. Close the cap, vortex, and quick spin. Repeat this process of transferring 500 microliters of diluted solution for tubes 3 through 7, and please note that tube 8 contains TE only. Next, pipette 100 microliters of standard dilution into column 12, wells A through G of each black 96 well HR and MR plate, and pipette 100 microliters of 1XTE into well H of each plate also. Place the purified Amplicon plate onto a magnetic ring stand and transfer one microliter of each purified Amplicon to the corresponding wells in a black MR and HR plate using a multi-channel pipetter. Using the magnetic plate stand minimizes the risk of transferring the magnetic ampere beads. Carefully inspect the wells visually to ensure that all Amplicons have been pipetted. Please refer to the photo being displayed for an example of what you can expect to see. Next, add 99 microliters of 1XTE to each Amplicon well within columns 1 through 11 only, since column 12 already contains the standard. Prepare the Pico Green reagent as detailed in the manual for four plates, and note that volumes may be adjusted for the number of plates to be quantitated. The reagent must be protected from light, so be certain to wrap the working reagent tube in foil or keep the tube in total darkness. Using a multi-channel pipetter, add 100 microliters of diluted Pico Green reagent to the standard and sample wells, pipetting up and down three times to mix after each addition. Place the 96 well plate on the fluorometer and start the program. Launch the appropriate protocol for quantitating double-stranded DNA by Pico Green fluorescence and make sure that well H12 is read as a true zero assay standard, not as a plate blank. The standard curve must have an R square value of 0.98 or larger. If not, repeat dilution of standards and samples and then repeat fluorometry. Complete the Amplicon quantitation process by repeating the steps for reagent addition and fluorometry for each of the remaining plates.